it's something that you know hasn't really sunk in but every morning you wake up and see oh, another record smashed i just feel i hope i'm still not sleeping image so, there was scope to go above war trust me okay <laughs> i don't know what you can do to go beyond pathan you know it's strange when when shahrukh says that he is not done an action film the persona is of an action hero in any case you feel that he's got an action yeah. image so it actually came together after war okay and uh, that's when it was adi's idea then let's do a crossover of salman over here so you think boxer on set there is an automatic glow <laughs> on set yeah and it's so self deprecating also yeah. that nobody can take offense yeah so you know they're taking painkillers and they're saying that we're tired <laughs> somebody should take over but eventually we only have to do it desh ka sawal hai and the fact is that they've shown it with pathan there's so much chatter about you directing a film for prabhas and hrithik any truth to that hi guys this is himesh and welcome to pink villa today we have with us the blockbuster man siddharth anand with us welcome to pink villa hi himesh thank you for having me here firstly congratulations thank you man thank you now my first question to you is i think every record in the books of box office belong to pathan right now and you <laughs> wow. wow how does it feel it's it's something that you know hasn't really sunk in but every morning you wake up and see oh, another record smashed i just feel i hope i'm still not sleeping <laughs> i want to pinch myself when it's not a dream yeah. but as a director what do these numbers mean to you a lot a lot uh we obviously make films for numbers we yeah. make films uh, for audiences to come in hmm. uh, to love them and uh, that generates the numbers yeah. so uh, the the love of the audience is synonymous with the numbers you make yeah so it's hand in glove yeah audience loving the film will generate those numbers so we do films, films for that for that so you know if you look at your career trajectory you have transition from being that you know director is making rom-coms to making these big action spectacles mm. how did this transition happen for you by chance um I I I used to like watching action films. I remember, you know, one day I was making Anjana Anjani in my office, and the trailer of Night and Day had released. Okay. And Ranbir was in office at that point in time, and I just showed him look at this trailer, man. It was a fun <laughs> action comedy, great stunts. I said, yeah. wow, man, we should do something like this. Six months later, I got a call from Fox Star, asking me if I'll remake Night and Day. <laughs> and it was just uh, uh just i i don't know by chance or by luck or by fortitude that uh, that happened yeah. and it wasn't the fact that uh, it was the trailer that i saw that intrigued me just the fact that they thought of me to make an action film it excited me uh, i was only thinking of making romcoms yeah uh, at that point in time i was thinking of making a film like like uh, 500 days of summer uh which was a really unique rom-com slice yeah. of life film and uh, i i loved that space uh but they came to me with the remake rights of night and day and i said why not yeah let's try it and uh, we started writing it i got in sujoy ghosh to write it hmm. then obviously we got in rithik and katrina and we made the film yeah. and i somewhere found my calling in that i started enjoying it and i've been looked back since you know said if you look at your track record as a director pre pandemic and post pandemic before the pandemic it was war which was a blockbuster and your next film after the pandemic is pathan which is again a blockbuster and yeah. could go higher yeah how does that feel to you and you know what is it to be this blockbuster director and um pressure and uh, validating from the audience's love yeah. that uh, what you're making is is being accepted and being loved so it's a bar- barometer you know for uh, for us that you know it co- crosses a certain number which it did and yeah. it did very comfortably yeah it empowers you man ki abhi jo main kar raha hu sahi kar raha hu to audience ko pasand aa raha hai so it uh, it it just feels that it theek hai it it just gives you more confidence in your conviction filmmaking is all about conviction yaar there's mm-hmm. no formula to it there's no science to it yeah. you can't go to college and say ki ye ye point is a formula of success ka <laughs> audience love gives you that yeah true so right now it's very comforting ki main jo kar raha hu theek kar raha hu but are you aware that you are the only director like only three directors have given two to two 300 crore films one is rajiv hirani sir yeah. sanju and pk one yeah. is ali abbas tigers yeah. and then sultan yeah. Yeah. and one is you war yeah. and pathan yeah so that's also a very special thing it's it's a uh, very humbling and yeah. it is uh, it's a privilege actually क्यों um, क्या होता है ना हमारी इंडस्ट्री में ये 300 नंबर बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है <laughs> सबके लिए हम सबके लिए तीन सौ पार इज वॉट ये करेगी कि नहीं करेगी इज इज वॉट प्लेज ऑन एवरीबडीज माइंड क्या ही लगता है तीन सौ करेगी सो इट्स बिकम लाइक द फिनिशिंग लाइन विच इज वॉट आई कीप सेंग सो 
पार हो गया यार फिर से so, <laughs> अब ग्रीड है चार सौ so, वो भी हो जाएगा गॉड विलिंग yes. करा दो यार एंड सर यू नो वेन वी लुक एट द हिंदी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री franchises are now coming up in a big way even over here hollywood hmm. started it long back in hindi hmm. film industry is starting hmm. you have created a war hmm. which is an ip which will yeah. be expanding further i am sure of course and there is a pathan which yeah. again will expand further yeah. how does that feel creator of war and pathan which is in the spy universe it's amazing yeah to be able to be a creator of these franchises um, which audiences have loved franchise kya hota hai franchise hota hai something a character or a film which audiences given a lot of love to yeah इतना प्यार दिया है कि देव नॉट हैड इनफ ऑफ इट सो यू नीड टू गिव दम मोर दैट इज हाउ फ्रेंचाइज अ बॉन सो द फैक्ट दैट आई बीन एबल टू क्रिएट टू ऑफ देम एंड बैक टू बैक समथिंग दैट की कुछ तो सही कर रहा हूँ यार सो इट्स वेरी हम्बलिंग एंड वेरी एक्साइटिंग कि दे आर जो बना रहा हूँ वो ऑडियंस तक पहुँच रहा है सो इट्स इट्स वेरी 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 एक्साइटिंग बट वेन वी लुक एट वॉर एंड पठान यू हैव क्रिएटेड द कैरेक्टर ऑफ पठान एंड कबीर both have their own aura mm-hmm. as a director how was it for you to present them you know in the same universe they are mm. in the same but yeah. present them differently yeah it comes from the actors yeah. uh, it's their personalities that play a lot uh, rithik is a personality like that sharuk is a personality like that yeah. uh, it comes from them we have to give a lot of credit to the actors for this yeah. for uh, 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 bringing this alive on screen and um, obviously you give them the dhancha you give them all the crutches around it yeah. and all the paraphernalia to support it yeah. a lot of credit has to go to the actors for looking like the way they are and uh, uh, being those characters of mm-hmm. kabir and pathan so now it's going to be synonymous for a long time with them rithik will be known as kabir, kabir. shahrukh sir will be known as as pathan yeah. for a while and it's very very i mean it's a great feeling for the for, for the creator <laughs> yeah that's that's exactly what my next question was as a creator of these two characters how do you view their future kabir and pathan as um, a character how do you um i think i think it's something that that they will overlap at some point that is the exciting part hmm. stand alone we've seen what they can do hmm. so um, in the universe that adi is is creating yeah. um at yrf it's so exciting these times that we yeah. can do so much more with them mm-hmm. and fortunately exciting to see them some to point over yeah. and and so you know this is slightly teda question if we look at uh, before the release there was lot been spoken about pathan on the social media mm. and you have defied that all mm. like what sharukh sir said positivity is in the hai mm. and it is you who has mm. managed to create a spectacle which mm. lives on to the expectation mm. Mm. how do you view that aspect which was happening prior to the release and then the euphoria which pathan created after the so release in a way i think we have been able to break that uh, boycott mold yeah uh, what everyone is scared of kiya ye boycott bolenge to log aayenge nahi dekhne ke liye mm-hmm. so wo dar to rehta hai yaar um, because social media is something which is which is very powerful hmm. people read a lot people follow it a lot and believe it yeah so pathan has broken that that myth अच्छी पिक्चर बनाओगे एंटरटेन करोगे तो सब टूट टूट के आएंगे एक वीडियो देखा था मैंने लोग ट्रक से निकल रहे थे जाने के लिए सो यू नो एक सपना होता है क्या एक डायरेक्टर की मेरी पिक्चर ट्रक भर के लोग आएंगे देखने के लिए तो वो हमारा सपना पूरा हो गया वो वीडियो देख के मैं बहुत अच्छा सोया अच्छा एज अ डायरेक्टर विच एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द बॉक्स ऑफिस ऑफ पठान सरप्राइज यू द मोस्ट बिकॉज यू नो इट हैज फोर फिफ्टी करोड़ डे आई थिंक वन सेवेंटी करोड़ डे एंड टू सिक्सटी करोड़ डेज Which aspect surprised you the most, and how do you view the fact that you have maximum fifty crore plus there under your kitty as a director? It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's amazing, yeah. These numbers are amazing, and yeah. uh, when War opened at fifty uh, crores on the first day, it was a number that was unheard of. Mm. What we did, um, and to do that again with Pathan <laughs> on the first day, and that also being a non-holiday, non-holiday was completely unexpected. So I can't say that we were expecting it. Mm-hmm. So it, it's something that. Every day, the numbers of Pathan <laughs> kept shocking us. Yeah, that so much love, so much love. Oh my God, they love it so much. <laughs> also, it's happened that people have gone so many times more to see it. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people who seen only once. Somebody told me, "I've seen it twice." Hey, hello. <laughs> so there you go, yeah. So you will know a lot of people who seen it at least yeah. twice. So when someone seen it once, you feel, "Okay, one time I've seen it." So it's become like that. <laughs> yeah. मतलब पठान जाना ही है यार या सो अगे तूने नहीं देखा मैं आ रहा हूँ तेरे साथ आई सीन एट वेलकम अगेन विद यू ये हो रहा है पठान के साथ सो दैट इज वाई दिस नंबर्स आर कमिंग इतना प्यार मिल रहा है लोगों को एक सेलिब्रेशन हो रहा है थिएटर में पीपल आर डांसिंग कब हुआ था लास्ट ईयर हिंदी पिक्चर में यार 
ages i mean kab yaar yeah. so hamare jeete ji to nahi hua hai hamare hmm. generation mein yaar so yeah. it's something which is amazing to see in the theaters yaar kya videos hain wo hai people dancing at the end if you're dancing at the end of the film means aapko picture bahut pasand aayegi acha yeah yeah warna log nikal jate ho bhag jate ho yaar ha you know said directing shahrukh khan is a pressure in itself but over here was there an added pressure because he was returning after four long years i didn't feel the pressure till actually the release of the film okay um it till uh, while we were making it it was just a party oh <laughs> directing him because he makes that atmosphere so light yeah. and a lot of fun and we got along really well all of us yeah. um dipika obviously i've worked with for some teen years yeah. uh, john is a friend um and and it it stems from shahrukh sir the entire uh, energy hmm. so we had a ball making it uh, we did the post of the film little stressful because timelines and stuff like that yeah. but it was a great experience it's only towards the release of the film that it actually hit us <laughs> that oh my god the expectations were sky high yeah so that is when the nervousness started setting in if you look at the action over here it is so big in terms of it is so huge you made a film like war in 2019 and now 2023 it's pathan what were the challenge of you know raising the bar of action from war to pathan i mean a war itself was a monumental action film yeah. uh, one of its kind uh, when it was made in 2019 yeah. we had to top that so there was pressure and uh, there was a lot of scope actually to to raise the bar there also mm-hmm. because it's all about your vision what you want to do what you can do yeah. um so we had certain things that we had in mind even while making war so we applied all of that in pathan and we made six different action set pieces six action sequences in pathan and they're all massive in terms mm. of scale and execution now we're scared <laughs> now we're scared that what now yeah. what next what can we do to take it beyond pathan that is the scary question <laughs> but i'm sure you must be having something in mind because even when you would have made war they thought this thought might have come in your what next image so. there was scope to go above war trust me okay <laughs> i don't know what you can do to go beyond pathan it is scary for me for anybody who's attempting an action film mm-hmm. because pathan has everything everything and it's top top in terms of its execution and scale and the money spent yeah it's very expensive to do action today <laughs> and uh, yes you have the technique and know how yeah. but it's um, what are you going to do in a bike chase in a car chase <laughs> what else can you do on an action on a train you can fall off planes fly jet packs Everything what like what uh, fight over trucks and cars in dubai on a boulevard yeah what can you do what more can you do yeah that's the question that is <laughs> pounding us <laughs> sir if we go back in time how did the casting of shahrukh khan happen because you know this film establishes him as an action star yeah. after 32 years that's yeah. what everything yeah. is talking how did that thought come in the mind of the entire creative team when you were deciding on pathan you know it's strange when when shahrukh says that he is not done an action film the persona is of an action hero in any case you feel that he's got an action yeah. image obviously he's done romantic films but you don't feel he's never done an action film you still feel because his persona is out there yeah. the alpha persona so um i always wanted to do an action film with him for a long time so i registered the title pathan uh, for a while but eventually things fell into place at this point in time everything timeline script yeah. everything time everything fell into place yeah. and um, so it was not a it was not a conscious decision to do an action film with him it just fell into place and mm. uh, because i always had a desire to do this action film with him and had a script a story idea it just fell into place okay so this happened after war as in just before war released oh just before war released um we were doing the post of war and this yeah. is just uh, before even the war's teaser had come out war released in october on october 2nd Second, yeah 2nd october uh, this is somewhere around uh, june july july early july is when um, i told adi that this is what i want to do next and that we should approach him now because i know he's looking for a film at this point in time yeah and uh, why not just take a chance <laughs> let's wow. talk to him with this yeah. we have we have a broad story and uh, once if he's on then we'll just adapt it to him and uh, make the call <laughs> and how did he react you remember his first reaction when you gave him that idea so um adi went to him um and met him yeah, because adi and he are very close friends <laughs> um just went to just suss it out what his head space is yeah. and not to really offer the film but just to meet him and chat with him and he realized that energy that he gave adi was that he is open to it yeah. so adi told him the idea mm-hmm. and he instantly said yes i'm on 
एंड आई रिमेंबर आई वॉज आउट विद सम फ्रेंड्स एंड आदि कॉल्ड मी आई जस्ट लेफ्ट एंड ही डूइंग द फिल्म I'm like what? Uh, I started like shaking. So what he said? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so he said, "Yeah, we're doing it immediately after war," and I just couldn't believe it. And I was with some friends, and I told them, "Can you imagine? Shah Rukh Khan is doing my film." <laughs> wow, that must have been one of its kind. I can't of forget yeah. that moment. I can't forget the location. I can't forget the visuals. And when I when Adi called me and said that he's doing the film, yeah. And you know, there's John. Yeah. So many people are talking about him that you know it's so good to see him in a space that is similar to Doom, the the anti-hero. Yeah. That casting was very interesting. How did that happen? Because people had stopped imagining John in this space in the recent years. So I think it's very, very brave of John to take up this role, yeah. and uh, because it's uh, an outright bad guy. Yeah. Obviously, he has a backstory that makes him human. Yeah. But to do a film uh, uh, where you are anti-national, hmm. you are actually uh, uh, it's not personal. Yeah. It's like I understand if Luther had done this to his family and then he wants to kill Luther, mm -hmm. Colonel Luther, I can understand that. That's an anti-hero. Yeah. He's the villain of this film. It's very brave, and he's a. We know he's a brave producer. Mm -hmm. He makes films that are edgy and uh, uh, you know are, are artistic and yet commercial. He's yeah. got a great balance as a producer. But the films that John chooses as an actor are always straight, mm -hmm. straight line. They're yeah. patriotic or they're comedies or they're straight up action films or masala films. Yeah. He doesn't meander unless he's producing it. Hmm. So to choose a film that he's an outright bad guy, yeah. it just shows that how lateral his thinking is, how he wants to expand his uh, his uh, uh, bandwidth as an actor, as a performer, and expand his audience base. Yeah, um, which has happened. I think people have uh, taken to him. A lot of people have just spoken about John so much <clears throat> about John to me that how good he's looking and how yeah. good he's performed. and he's feeling that also but do you plan a spin off of his character because there is a back story you know it oh, should right. be i mean it should they should have, it's too early to talk about yeah. anything yeah. but jim's character warrants a prequel yeah with kabir because there is a mention that why not yeah, yeah. anything this is a universe now yeah. now it's a playground playground you can just do so, so much. much you can have a prequel of jim what if jim's not dead yeah <laughs> because you have shown him falling off the cliff yeah, that's yeah. it what yeah. if he had a harness that pulls a parachute <laughs> true yeah and you know uh, said uh, Action films are conventionally known for the men, yeah. but if you look at Pathan, even Deepika has such an action-packed role. I don't yeah. remember. I think it's Katrina in Tiger Three and now oh, uh, Tiger Two. Sorry. Yeah. And now Deepika over here. Tiger Three. Tiger Two. Tiger Zinda. Katrina Zinda. had. Ah, uh, oh, she had. Yeah. Okay. And now so uh, Deepika over here. Yeah. Was it? What was it to write this character? It is a very uh, conflicting character. If we if we have to define it, because yeah. the actions keep changing at yeah. regular interval. What was it to write that character and conceptualize it? Basically, I think it it it, it was important to not think of it as a girl, but think of it as a character who is adding to the twist and and adding to that plot and yeah. moving that plot ahead. If we start thinking as a heroine and let's not give her this and let's give that part to the hero, yeah. is is small thinking. Mm -hmm. That is where the growth won't happen. That is yeah. where the audience will not get a newer experience. So. we have been traditionally unfortunately doing that so yeah. this breaks those shackles and gives the actress a lot more meat she does the action she saves the hero yeah in that in the, scene at the villa yeah. she does all the action and sharuk is just tied yeah. and he just watches <laughs> her do all that yeah. you enjoy it this is new and hopefully this will give empower more filmmakers to give actresses more meatier roles how did you react when adi told you that i i'm sure pathan in his, in your head would have been an independent film but when you came up with the story how did it spin into this entire spy universe aspect what what were the discussions like and how did this happen? i think after the success of war i actually had that chat with adi and said that now we really can expand this universe and do some crossover things yeah um and i don't think that was a conscious decision decision or even at the back of our minds when tiger was made and when war was made yeah because we never thought of that it is after the success of war that it came to us that we can actually make a universe out of this mm -hmm. and when i had the story of pathan yeah. i said this actually eventually will turn out to be a universe because we'll have three now let's Spy. create more spies um so it actually came together after war okay and uh, that's when it was adi's idea then let's do a crossover of salman over here mm -hmm. uh, we could have obviously had ritik or anybody else also but yeah. just the fact that you know to have salman and sharuk in the film yeah. is and do action hmm. is something which is really special and it doesn't happen it hasn't yeah. happened last it happened 96 in karan arjun 
So um, fortunately, Adi had the IP to to do that crossover, <laughs> and uh, we can see the result. It's fantastic. Yeah. How was it when you were directing Shah Rukh and Salman on the set? What was it like? Because you know they are two of the biggest superstars. So they're giants. Yeah. <laughs> so the atmosphere only in the room on the set is something that oh my god, there are two. There's Godzilla and and King Kong. <laughs> you have to manage yeah. that, and it's just so much fun because they're friends. Yeah. And they both are uh, uh, like they don't want to step onto each other's toes. Yeah. They don't want to steal the other person's limelight. They want to give the other person the limelight. Mm -hmm. That is so beautiful what they share. They are so confident and secure in their position. So it's not that I uh, have killed him. I will also kill him. He has killed him. I will also kill him. Nothing. Hmm. They are helping each other to do things to better each other. Yeah. It's just so much love and respect. So what you read about competition and stuff like that? My God, they just they love each other, hmm. and you can feel that love and respect they have for each other, and they want to do it better for the other person hmm. that he looks better. Yeah, there's no competition, man, and it's so beautiful and it helps the filmmaker. He's at ease. So I had a party. <laughs> <laughs> were there improvisations from Salman and Shahrukh when they were on? on you know, the they they have such such an experience that you want them to improvise. Yeah. So you take those dialogues to them, and you when you. When they say it, you see, when they say they'll add something, you say no, 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 not this. Oh yeah, 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 do this. Oh yeah, do this. Okay, expand on this. Yeah. So when they say it, it's a different. Uh, it, it's the 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 outtake is different. Yeah. The output is different. Or uh, what they do. So you always improvise on that because they have so much experience. They know what will click, <laughs> what their audience wants, what their fans want. Yeah. So you want their their experience in this, and so there was a lot of improvisation. I understand. This is the last scene, the closing credit yeah. of Pathan. <laughs> There's so much chatter around it. Everyone knows what context they are talking about. Yeah. What gave you the confidence to, you know, pull that off? Them. <laughs> It's the yeah. way they did it. They also not doing it condescendingly. Hmm. They also saying that you know, abhi nahi hota, three years ho gaye, chhod dena chahiye. Yeah. So they also, it's it's because it's so, so tongue in cheek. Yeah. And it's so self deprecating also hmm. that nobody can take offense. Yeah. So you know they're taking painkillers and they're saying that we're tired. <laughs> Somebody should take over, but eventually we only have to do it. <laughs> Desh ka sawal hai. And the fact is that they've shown it with Pathan. Yeah. <laughs> they only had to do it. <laughs> True. That that scene is a riot. I think yeah, yeah. it's madness. Yeah, it's special. No, yeah, you spoke of Ritik. Were there ever, uh, was there ever a thought in your mind to get Ritik also in Pathan? Um, obviously, there'll be a thought. But uh, since we've just started, you know, uh, amalgamating this universe, it's yeah. too early to bring everyone together. Mm -hmm. So there should be a little thirst of seeing a combination. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is, universe has just started. Yeah. So let's see. So it will happen we'll, some at some of point. Of course, time, of it course. will happen. Of course. Yeah. Okay, and said so, you know you are shooting for fighter right now with Ritik. You have worked with him in Bang Bang and War, which presents him in a larger than life mm. image. And fans love when you mm. present Ritik. Mm. They say that Sid is the fanboy of Ritik. He can mm. present him the mm. best possible mm. way. How do you plan to present him in fighter? Um, there's no there's no thought as such because when Ritik walks in on set, there is an automatic glow <laughs> on set. <laughs> And uh, and he's so good looking. Yeah. So it the job honestly our job becomes much easier. You just need to capture him. Yeah. When he's walking. <laughs> and we he does magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to do much. Yeah. But what can we expect from fighter? If you can tell in brief, it's Sritik Dipika for the first time. There's Anil Kapoor. Yeah. You are teaming up after war. So I mean, a fighter is a film that is one of its kind. Uh, it's something that uh, I'm so happy that. It, this is my next film after Pathan. Yeah. That um, Pathan is has set certain benchmarks in action, in presentation, yeah. in scale. Fighter is something so different mm -hmm. and is on a different level. Mm -hmm. So audiences haven't seen something like this in India at all. So it is not. It is something that we haven't attempted before. Mm -hmm. I mean, if someone had to go out there and make the mm -hmm. film at the cost that it. It we are making it as, and we've got a lot of help and a lot of uh, everything. So it's just it's not possible to make this film in this country. Hmm. The what we are trying to achieve, it's okay. not possible. Uh, there's certain certain things that we are doing is really special. Hmm. I can't even talk about it, but yeah. when, when people see the teaser or the trailer wherever it comes, yeah. hopefully it'll just blow their mind. After I think second October twenty fifth Jan is the date that <laughs> yeah now we are looking to like pele war bang bang I cement it yeah um, I, I, there's no strategy or plan yeah but it's just falling into place I hope or I hope 
we can start owning all dates <laughs> <laughs> and sir what are the cha- having directed rithik sharukh and even salman in a cameo what are the challenges of directing a superstar every actor comes with his own temperament and with his own uh, aura and you have to just as an as a director you are more like a counselor yeah. so you need to adapt to that mood that sensibility because they are superstars they are yeah. giants so you can't i i worked with saif and his boyish mm-hmm. ranbir was a newcomer yeah. um and then i went on to rithik who is an established superstar bona fide superstar yeah. obviously so there's certain adapting that even a director actually is like a a, a counselor on set hmm. so you have to understand the headspace of the and get the best work out of everybody yeah. so they they have their own own moods hmm. so you have to adapt to it and uh, circumvent it and get the best out of them and get what you want yeah. even though they have a wealth of experience and say no said we hmm. should do it this way you have to be head strong and no and not jatao any authority yeah circumvent it and get what you want <laughs> so that's a challenge a filmmaker has and but yeah. they are very easy yeah. they are hmm. lovely yeah. If they have faith in you, it's yeah. a party. And sir, having directed so many action spectacles, do you ever want to revisit the rom-com space, or is it, is it something you I really want to? Yeah, production? I really want to. I want to do a rom-com. I yeah. want to do a light-hearted film. I want to do a film that is in one schedule. Just go to one location, film the entire thing. I did that with Salam Namaste. Yeah, I went to Melbourne and shot for whatever days, three months, and came back with a ready film. Yeah, I want to do that. I'm just not getting a story. I want a story. I want to do a rom-com. Yeah. I mean, I'm just not finding it. If some writer comes and gives me a script that is good enough, I'll dive into it today. Okay. And uh, one last question: um, What are your plans as a producer going forward? You have your own. Um, right now, it's Fighter, and yeah. we're producing Rambo. Mm. And um, these two films are mammoth films. Yeah. Both are action uh, spectacles and tentpole films. Mm. So our hands are completely full with that. Yeah. There's so much chatter about you directing a film for Prabhas and Hrithik. Any truth to that? <laughs> I'm making fighter right now. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect. Thank you so much. Right, Congratulations okay, again you. on Patan. Thank you. Thank and you. Looking man. forward. Thank you. Thank man. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.